Welcome to Ezo Uva Sel, Driwala Ward, Ayivu West constituency in Arua City, Uganda. A hope rarely experienced across the globe arises. A hope for young school-going children and agriculture students. A hope for nationals and refugees alike. A hope originated from the humble but now far-spreading beginnings of Bethel Farms. Like a double-edged sword, formerly neglected school-going children are not only sponsored in school but trained on the job during school holidays. These kids, who would otherwise be loitering on the streets with the associated evils of street life, have become useful with the required skill sets and education. My name I'm called Joan, a student of Nile High Secondary School. While in Bethel Farm, have a learned, have learned a lot of different things, how to plant or how to take care of the crops. Better Farm has helped me a lot. And they are paying my school fees. For the refugees, a hope formerly erased through the adversities of war is sharply restored through the training opportunity at Bethel Farms. A ripple effect has formed in refugee settlements where Bethel farm products live. The ever-increasing number of internship students from diverse agricultural institutions across the country is only a testament to the growing practical influence of Bethel Farms, fish and pig production, pride of the most impressive growth charts with a near virgin market spanning across the borders into DR Congo and South Sudan. However, for the pigs, a visitor is often more impressed with the utmost cleanliness in the paddocks, a complete nullification of the close association of pigs and dirt. The increased calls for participation in farming and agricultural expos is further illustrate Bethel Farm's leading role in societal growth. Panel discussions at high-level events for Bethel staff is a common phenomenon as they, with other experts, disseminate knowledge and impact the communities. That for a local in Arua, Bethel is the most reliable destination. In Bethel Farm, we do a lot of different kind of farming. We do hydroponics, aquaponics, and uh, microponics, piggery, poultry, and uh, fishing. In order for you to raise plants that are actually healthy, it begins with what? With the soil. Actually, it begins from the seed. But the soil is a medium for, for nutrition. So in simple terms, what I'm trying to say is that we nurture the soil, and then the soil will do what? We'll nurture the plant. Now, we have actually transitioned as the tell farms. You can actually see how big this is. This is a product of something that we used uh, a number of inputs, which uh, maybe I'll actually try to show you later. Uh, if you check the nitrogen cycle, you will see that there is a, there is a conversion of animal, I uh, mean plant protein to animal protein. But we found a way of reversing animal back to plant protein, and we use it as major folly. If we remove the carbon aspect of it, in, in the soil, it reduces actually our, on our performance. We're able to get most of this using some of these inputs that we, okay. we are trying to use to minimize the cost. But for a local in Arua, Bethel is the most reliable destination for a large variety of green vegetables in the West Nile. This usually is a beehive of activity during the dry season, thanks to the suitable technology employed that transcends weather conditions. In a well-decorated environment with this amazing assortment of poultry, the singing birds greet you upon arrival and you sure will be awed by the potential transformation Bethel Farms can offer. Bethel Farms, food for prosperity.